So let's move on to how this all got started. It's even worse than this. Here's how it all got started. Use your words. What are you doing? Use your words. What are you doing? Use your words. What is going on? Who are you? NLG will get you out. So that's happening. Unidentified federal troops are kidnapping protesters in unmarked vehicles. Trump issued an executive order for the Department of Homeland Security, the DHS, to protect monuments and federal buildings. So now there's Homeland Security and Border Patrol troops shooting and arresting unarmed peaceful protesters in Portland. Because we all know there's so many Confederate monuments in Portland, Oregon to protect. Here's federal troops taking pot shots at protesters across the street. Watch this. guy get just, just got shot in the head by those guys by those guys um, Americans hired by the American government to shoot peaceful protesters in the head now what did they use a rubber bullet Look, rubber bullets are lethal they kill you check out this badass cop you want to see a badass cop watch watch how tough these cops are Did you ever see a bigger coward in your life than that guy? The guy in the, in the white Navy shirt just standing there and a guy in full, like he's, like he's in Iraq, comes up and starts beating him. The guy doesn't flinch. Then the other guy starts pepper spraying him, still doesn't flinch. And the cops don't know what to do. Do you see how they don't know what to do? They're such cowards. Watch out, watch how. Look at him, he's just banging. Not one of them, not one of them would, would ever go up to anybody in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Not one of those cops would ever go up to anybody. That's why they become cops, so they can have the immunity and the protection of all the other cops. And I know if you don't know who cops are, you don't know this. But I do. My grandpa was a cop. My dad was a cop. My oldest brother's a cop. My best friends in Chicago are cops. They're all like that. You must have an intense bootlicking fetish. If you root for those guys against protesters in America. And it's coming to Chicago. Why is this happening? How can Trump do this? Well, he can do this because the Patriot Act created the Department of Homeland Security. That's right. We have an unconstitutional indefinite military detention put into law. The road to fascism is paved by neoliberal Democrats. The Democratic Party leadership class helped make this moment. How, Jimmy? What? Well, the Democrats, along with Barack Obama, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, the Democrats have been helping assemble an authoritarian toolbox for decades, but nobody calls them out. But now Trump is doing it and people are upset. They, the, they, the Democrats, have been getting away with it for so long that Nancy effing Pelosi has the balls to tweet this out. Unidentified stormtroopers, unmarked cars, kidnapping protesters and causing severe injuries in response to graffiti. These are not the actions of a democratic republic. Department of Homeland Security's actions in Portland undermine its mission. Trump and his stormtroopers must be stopped. Pelosi voted for this. Pelosi and the Democrats just reauthorized the Patriot Act two months ago. U.S. Patriot Act of 2001 voting record. Nancy voted for it with George W. Bush back in 2001. And guess what? She's voted for it all the way to Trump today.
Pelosi works hand in hand with the GOP to take away our civil liberties. Pelosi works hand in hand with Wall Street to give them trillions while screwing workers. That's not, by the way, that's not the Patriot Act that Pelosi is ripping up. Pelosi is not the opposition to Donald Trump. Pelosi is the enabler of Donald Trump. Democrats are enablers for decades of future Donald Trumps. And it's not just the Patriot Act. How can the constitutional rights of U.S. citizens get violated? Citizens being arrested and detained by unidentified federal troops without being charged? Well, guess who you can thank for this? Barack Hussein Obama. What, Jimmy? They don't tell me this on MSNBC, CNN, or any of the other YouTube channels. Well, here's what the ACLU says. President Obama signs indefinite detention bill into law. President Obama signed the National Defense Authorization Act into law today. The statute contains a sweeping worldwide indefinite detention provision. While President Obama issued a signing statement saying he had serious reservations about the provisions, the statement only applies to how his administration would use the authorities granted by the NDAA and would not affect how the law is interpreted by subsequent administrations, the White House said. So what that is saying is that Barack Obama knows that this is effed up because Barack Obama is a goddamn constitutional lawyer. Barack Obama knows that this is effed up. So when he passed this and signed it, he had a signing statement saying, I won't use it in a bad way. But I can't stop Donald Trump from doing that. President Obama's actions today is a blight on his legacy because he will forever be known as the president who signed indefinite detention without charge or trial into law. That's the ACLU's executive director. The statute is particularly dangerous because it has no temporal or geographic limitations. It can be used by this and future presidents to militarily detain people captured far from any battlefield. Barack Obama made this possible. The ACLU believes that any military detention of American citizens or others within the United States is unconstitutional and illegal, including under the NDAA. In addition, the breadth of the NDAA's detention authority violates international law because it's not limited to people captured in the context of an actual armed conflict as required by the laws of war. Some people have been wondering why Joe Biden has been so quiet about what's happening in Portland. Why would the Democrats' presumptive nominee be worried about denouncing constitutional violations on its citizens? Well, maybe that's why. Because on many occasions, Joe Biden took credit for writing the Patriot Act. Much has already been made about Biden's instrumental role as a senator pushing through the 1994 crime bill, a bill that made the problem worse, according to former President Bill Clinton, who signed it into law. Another potential sticking point, Biden not only voted for the 2001 Patriot Act, he on many occasions claimed credit for writing it. The bill John Ashcroft sent up was my bill. Joe Biden said, referring to the Patriot Act, the act brought in the surveillance capabilities of U.S. law enforcement agencies and many of its provisions have been opposed by liberal Democrats and civil libertarians. On another occasion in 2002, Biden proudly said not only that he wrote the 1994 act, but Attorney General John Ashcroft called him to say it was basically the same bill as they were introducing. Civil libertarians were opposed to it, Biden said. Right after 1994, and you can ask the Attorney General this, because I got a call when he introduced the Patriot Act. He said, Joe, I'm introducing the act basically as you wrote it in 1994. This is Joe Biden's world. This is who was advising Joe Biden, the weapons industry lobbyists.
And this really gets me. TV smart guy Howard Feynman doesn't understand what is happening. Here's his tweet. He says, I ask again, by what authority and at whose command are these Trump vigilantes on the streets of Portland? There is no more urgent question in public life. Seriously, 34,000 likes. What authority, Howard? Why don't you ask those Democrats in the MSNBC green room with you? They gave Trump that authority, Howard. But you'll never call them out because you, Chris Hayes, Rachel Maddow, and the rest of MSNBC are a media protection racket for corrupt Democrats. While the Democrats were doing political theater and wasting everybody's time with impeachment, they were simultaneously voting to expand Trump's military budget, renewing the Patriot Act for him, and voting in over 200 of Trump's federal judges. Republicans and Democrats made this happen. Democrats are frauds and hypocrites of the highest order. And they think you and me are suckers. That's, that's, it. MSNBC says this is what's happening. This is reality. MSNBC says Republicans and Democrats are having a water gun fight. In reality, Democrats and Republicans are using a water cannon to kill the working class. That's what's happening. And now you know the rest of the story. Good day. So this is news. This is going to be news to all your friends. It's going to be news to all my liberal friends in comedy, all my Democrat voting friends in comedy. This is going to be news to them. All my Democrat comedian friends who go, this Barack Obama, best president of my lifetime, this is going to be news to them that Barack Obama did this and was warned not to do this by everybody, including the ACLU, and did it anyway. And now when you see Trump sending goons into the streets, they're there because Barack Obama made it possible for Trump to do it, even though he was warned to not. And Nancy Pelosi's funding those people without any strings attached. Nancy Pelosi's funding the Department of Homeland Security without any strings attached. And the Department of Homeland Security is who Trump is sending into cities to go arrest people unconstitutionally. And Nancy Pelosi could stop it, and she's not. And so I know this is going to come as news to a lot of other YouTubers, but voting Democrat is not a solution. I know that's news to you. I know probably all this is news to you. That's why I have a show. That's why I do this show. So I can remind everybody what's really happening. What's really happening in your country. And what's really happening in your country right now is we are swirling down a fascist rabbit hole created by Nancy Pelosi, Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, and Joe Biden and being implemented by Donald Trump and funded by the Democrats. And there is no hope in sight. There isn't a Democrat in power advocating uh, and leadership advocating to give you help during a pandemic, to give you health care during a pandemic. There There isn't a leadership Democrat trying to stop Trump from doing this with the Department of Homeland Security goons. There is no, there is no hope in the Democratic Party. There is no hope in government for you. And any other YouTuber or anybody telling you that voting Democrat is a solution to any of your fucking problems. Now who's being naive, Kay? They've been wrong about every goddamn thing so far. Why would they be right about this? They've been wrong about everything. And exactly what I predicted in 2016, Trump is president. And now everybody's aware that this is fucked up. Hey, maybe the government shouldn't have this power. Now everybody's aware of it.
Now everybody's aware of the horrible shit their government's been doing all along. Hey, Donald Trump's putting immigrants in cages. So is Barack Obama. Trump is splitting up babies from their immigrant families. So did Barack Obama. Trump is gassing immigrants at the border. So did Barack Obama. And I guess they should feel honored that they were gassed by the lesser of two evils. Hey, Trump's going to start kicking people out of their houses when uh, mortgage default. So did Barack Obama. Trump's la Trump is letting cops crack the head of peaceful protesters. So did Barack Obama from coast to coast during Occupy Wall Street. And Apple. So that's why this show exists. There is no opposition to Donald Trump, you sucker. If you think Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi oppose Donald Trump, you are a sucker. Do you know the task force that Bernie and Joe Biden had set up for health care? Do you know that Representative Pramila Jayapal was appointed by Bernie to go beyond that task force? Never once brought up Medicare for all in any of those meetings. Do you see how you're the most progressive people are working against you and giving their stamp of approval to a fucking organization that is denying you health care? That's what progressives in Congress do. Progressive Democrats in Congress give their stamp of approval to Nancy Pelosi, Wall Street, and the military industrial complex to fuck you. That's what the squad does. That's what Bernie's doing. That's what every fucking one of them is doing. Who's calling out Nancy Pelosi to stop this right now? Who? Howard Feynman, Mr. MSNBC, doesn't even know how the fuck this happened. He has to come to YouTube so I can explain it to him. I already smoked a bowl today. I have to explain this to Howard Feynman. Hey, this is the part where I tell you where our live shows are, but there aren't any. <laughs> and then I would tell you to go join our premium, but, but nobody has a fucking job. So why don't you just enjoy the video?